All right, so today is Wednesday, May the 6th. I ordered this on Monday. This is the Galaxy Book Ion. On Monday, they announced the Galaxy Book Flex, the Galaxy Book Flex A, and the Galaxy Book Ion. Uh, the Galaxy Book Flex is the one that all the YouTubers have, or which is blue and flips around, but I don't really care about flipping around. So what we have here is a Windows 10 Home, uh, the Intel Core i7U series, the 15 inch version. It has eight gigabytes of memory. Uh, now I watched the video from the unlocker and he said this had 16. Now here's the Korean version, but so I asked the chat and they said it was upgradable. So two 16, I'll be annoyed if you can't upgrade it. No hard drive, of course, SSD is 512, it's pretty good. And they only sell it in one color, the silver. All right, so let's uh, just take a look. Uh, it's a pretty simple box, just a plain white box. Nothing inside there. There's a little tab here to get your stuff out. Very thin, very light. That was one reason I went with the 15 inch models because it's only, it's under three pounds. Let's take a look here. They have a micro SD card, so that's a slot to, un to unplug it there, of course. Quick start guide, basic items. just a piece of cardboard in there which is funny I don't know why they need to make that one they just make it smaller so there's really nothing well I mean a quick start guide I guess we need that but I don't of course and this little that doesn't have an, a sim card but it's the same kind of tool to eject a sim card from a cell phone inside here all there is is the power charger which is a DC but you can power it through USB-C so I'm not crazy about this but it's not very big and uh, more importantly, you can still charge it through USB-C. I think USB-C is slower, but you can still do that. And there's nothing else in here. So it's just this little paper film. It kind of feels like a dryer sheet. Here we are. You can see you're already getting some fingerprints on it. Uh, I am not crazy about the color. This is the only color they offered. That royal blue that was on the Flex is way cooler, but that one's also like $1,300. This, I think, was only like a 1000 bucks. I mean, only, but and they also let you do a trade-in for some reason. So I traded in an old iPhone 8 Plus to knock off $225 off this. So, I don't know what else. It's not white. It's not silver. That's not going to come up on camera, probably. Uh, I do not like that color at all. But we're not here about the color. We're here about the device itself. Another one of these little dryer sheet things inside of here. And here we have the keyboard, of course. Now this is 15 inches. Uh, so you can see I would put my hands here. So it is off center a bit. And here is the number pad. The number pad is much smaller than you see on a regular keyboard. So here's a fairly standard Logitech keyboard in comparison. So you can see how much bigger that would be, even though it's the 15 inches and the number pad. So obviously it's not gonna be that big on a laptop. Uh, and again, I guess people care about this stupid thing. Uh, yeah, you can essentially do one finger lift. I don't give a shit about that. Here is a 2015 MacBook Pro. So you can see it's a little bit wider, but it's not much taller, even though this is a 15 inch screen. Uh, I think Apple does have a different aspect ratio, but it's pretty comparable, right? It does have the speaker grill, I'm not the speaker grill, the vents here, speaker grills are here. So this is really light. It's it's much lighter, I think. Yeah, it's definitely lighter than my MacBook. And this is a 15 inch. And this is a 13 inch. This color almost looks green. It could be my lighting. I don't know, but I do not like it. It does have this cool sheen of blue on the PC right and then of course as you open it that part comes down to give you like a little lift here right so now when you're typing that will raise it up off a little bit so you have your two USB-A ports which are 3.0 I think maybe 3.1 that's where you put a micro SD card not a SIM card and here is a full-size HDMI jack which I like 
and one USB-C slash Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt port. Here's the microphone jack and that would be the power supply. Again, let's take a look at the keyboard comparison to the MacBook. Uh, I don't like MacBooks, that's just what I have because that's what my work uses. So that's as far as it goes back, right? About that far. And that's the catch. It doesn't go full flat. I don't know why you would care about that, really. I don't care about two in one. Some people do. So you see the trackpad is much larger on the Samsung. And the keys, very similar in size. You can see they have shrunk the shift key. So they've added a full, uh, actual backspace and delete key. They shrunk the shift key to put the fingerprint. That's not a button, it's just a flat piece of metal. I like how blue that is. And so here would be your power button. Let me go ahead and rearrange some things and I'll turn it on and we'll see what it looks like when we start it up. All right, so this is uh, maybe the first time I've turned it on. Uh, this little device over there is so I'm gonna try to record the screen and we'll see if that works. I don't know if it will. Power button's up here. All right, so now we're loading for the first time. Let's go a little closer. So I do like how wide the keyboard is. Uh, trackpad seems smooth. Let me get English. Yes. All right, so hopefully it's recording the screen. Uh, we are in the United States, of course. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? I do hear a uh, voice that's uh, coming from my I have an external monitor trying to record so uh, I do hear the fans a little bit do you also type with another keyboard layout skip that now let's get you connected to a network that way you can get updates apps and cat videos as soon as possible I do like the trackpad a lot. I think the zero's an odd spot uh, on the password on the number pad. So that couldn't mess me up. It's over a little bit. So hopefully, if I'm recording the screen correctly, I'll put it over here. I do like having a number pad. I do like having a fingerprint sensor, but I will say I didn't think the ship would mess me up, but I did accidentally hit the uh, number pad instead of the shift key there. And the, the fingerprint sign for my pinky. We're not hearing the speakers from here. The speakers are coming from my external monitor, my lapel monitor. Because uh, I'm recording the screen and I'm using that to how I monitor what's going on. I do like the keyboard. Um, I won't type it a little bit, of course, but it does seem nice. Uh, um, I yet to determine if I'll have a problem with it kind of being over the one side because of the number pad. I would almost maybe like it not have the number pad and just have a big large comfortable keyboard but we'll see use windows hello to unlock your pc with just your fingerprint it's not only faster it's more secure than a password want to set that up now so this one is not a touch screen so you see if i do that nothing happens follow the instructions to teach your pc to read your fingerprints but like uh the screen i guess wobbles a little bit but like on the i know with the galaxy chromebook it uh, seemed like it wobbled like crazy, and I did not like that. So I was worried that the Flex or the Flex A would just wobble like crazy. All right. Very quick fingerprint scanner. Want to set up a pin? I will create a pin. So I do like the number pad. Uh, I mean, it's a little small, of course. I do like the trackpad a whole lot uh, better than the MacBook one. All right, I will do this because I have a Samsung phone. My I'm recording this on the LG V60, but my preferred device is the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I'm actually using that to record the audio secondary. Yeah, you know, record it from my phone, the V60. If that audio isn't good, then I'll use the audio from the uh, Note 10 Plus. And if they're both bad, then it's going to be shitty audio. So part of what made me want to get a Samsung device is, one, I've always loved Samsung phones. 
I've never had a Samsung computer before. Uh, you get an option to link your phone and PC. So I found my desktop computer, but I want to link this one. So uh, let me hit next one here. I haven't named this one, so it didn't pop up yet. Uh, I don't want that either. Hey, look. A bit of a long setup process. I do hear the fans kick up every so often. Doesn't bother me. It's just uh, I know lots of people in the comments and other article or reviews will always talk about that stuff. All right, looks like we are in Windows. So let's just take a look. Uh, I'm gonna close this out. The screen looks good, and I'm at a weird angle because I'm filming this, but I will say I'm not blown away by it like I am when I use a Samsung phone. Uh, I did see an article on the Galaxy Book Flex 15 inch that said that the 1080p, you know, people always shit on 13 inch devices for being 4K, and then the 15 inch device, when it's 1080p, uh, they're saying the resolution is not great, and it, uh, it's not great, at least right now. But I haven't tweaked any of the settings and all that stuff, so we'll see. Uh, first thing we can do here, of course, is take a look and see what kind of dumb shit they have installed. So let's just take a look over here at the apps. Uh, so we see booking, so uh, obviously the Microsoft stuff is built in. Amazon, booking.com, calculator, of course, calendar, camera, I guess that's the front camera. Connect, I don't know what that is. Feedback of Game Bar, it's probably a Windows thing. Groove Music, I wonder if anyone actually uses Just kind of blinked off there, I don't know what that was. Maybe it's up install, installing some updates in the background because it's getting kind of glitchy on me. It says OneDrive is processing a bunch of changes, I don't want OneDrive. No, stop that. All right, one drive was syncing on my phone, I guess. I don't know. Did not like that. All right, so back to this. Groove Music, uh, Intel Graphics Command Center, Link Sharing, Little Artist, Live Messages. Uh, the Unlocker knows that, too. That's, that's something that's on Samsung phones. I don't know how much useful that would be, how much use that would be on a, a device without a touchscreen. Uh, so I don't understand. I don't even use it on the phone, so... Live wallpaper. This is the same wallpaper I have for my desktop PC. Microsoft Edge, the messaging app, which is the Samsung messaging app, I assume. Maps, McAfee, Microsoft Store, Mixed Reality Portal, Mobile Plans, Netflix, Office, OneDrive, OneNote, Paint, PowerPoint Publisher, Quick Search. Realtek Audio Console, Samsung Deck, Samsung Flow, Samsung Gallery. So Samsung Galaxy, uh, so some of these Samsung apps I do want, because I use Samsung features. Like uh, my buddy Tony, the world famous Suck It Tony, does not like Samsung products. He's a Pixel guy. Uh, but me, I like to sync all my Samsung stuff. So I am liking the idea of my notes being on here. So if I sign into my Samsung account, it should sync everything with my phone. It's a fairly small bottom bezel. Uh, we'll mess with that later. If I keep this thing, I'll do a video on all the features. Now, like I said, I'm not blown away by the screen right off the bat. This, I mean, that was a major selling point was a QLED, but uh, I don't. I'm not super blown away. Uh, all right, so all the Samsung features, which I like. Uh, we'll go with those more in a different video, probably. Snip and Sketch, which is the Windows uh, snipper tool, which I really like. Studio Plus, I don't know what that is. Team PL, I don't know what that is. Thunderbolt Control Center, Weather, Wild Tangent Games. So tons and tons of shit is installed on this computer is the answer. So let's go ahead and check our storage. Uh, I guess we can check to see if we have any updates first. Finish installing software. What software? None. So in the display settings, uh, obviously... It's just mirroring my screen. That's because I have the this little device to record the screen hooked up. My Aver Media, which I use for gaming videos normally. Uh, Windows HD Color. The scale is 100%. Delay display resolution is uh, 1080p. Advanced display settings. Don't see anything special there. Don't know what that is either. Let's check storage. So of the 512, 51 gigs are used. 40... 425 are free all right so right now we're charging it with the 
and it says there's 91% battery. So I'm going to unplug this. The screen gets dimmer automatically. I am now going to plug in a USB-C charger that I have from uh, just the cell phone, so one plus phones. And it does start charging right away. So I had to move it a little bit. But you can see it's plugged in. You get better performance when it's plugged in. And 13 minutes remaining. So uh, I will probably never use this regular charger because who needs that, right? All right, so now we got that taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and stop the second screen recording. So we're going to unplug the HDMI. So here you can see, let me plug this in. You can see where this it lights up when it's plugged in already. So you can see where it kind of eeks up here, right? You can, I could put almost this whole thing underneath there. So it gives you a little, little better area to type on. Let's take a look at the keyboard up close. Move this light. See what I'm saying? I think the zero is in the wrong spot. And this is where the shift key is a little small. Uh, you have your function keys. I don't know what all those do yet. I'm going to figure that out. Should be the keyboard backlit key right here. Let me see if that works. Wait. Oh, yeah, there you can see. Keys are nice and evenly backlit. I don't see anything. I mean, here you can see if that's just because I'm at a weird angle. But on top, it looked pretty good. Uh, let me go ahead and lock it. Uh, Windows L should lock it, right? And then let me just hit this. Yeah, that gets in super quick. So I do like that. Um, let me check for an update, I guess. So there are updates available. Let me go ahead and apply those, of course. Shitload of them available. So we're going to download those, and we'll try to uninstall some stuff. Like, let's go ahead and take a look here. There's some dumb shit here I don't want, right? Like Booking.com. So let me right-click on that and see if there's a way. There's Yeah, you can uninstall it right there. So... I don't know, like on cell phones, people always trip about bloatware and all this dumb shit, but I don't know, if it makes the device cheaper to sell some advertising, as long as you can uninstall it, I don't really care that much. Now, I don't like it when they're stuck on there and you can't uninstall it. That's a, that's a bad time, of course. That's just an unboxing. I plan to make some more videos. I'll compare this uh, with some other screens. I have a Lenovo. Yep, so recently I was looking for a Chromebook. Well, so I have a Windows desktop. Let me start off. I have a Windows desktop PC, Windows 7 with an i7, a couple years old, but still works pretty good. That's where I do all my video editing and all that stuff. Uh, but I do travel for work, and I have a hot garbage piece of shit MacBook that my work makes me use, and I hate it so much. So I was like, uh, so usually I use Samsung Dex with one of these portable monitors. Let me, maybe I'll move the portable monitor over here. Uh, so normally I use these portable monitors when I travel. So you can see here I have this lapel portable monitor. Alright, so you can kind of see this screen over here. So when I have these two side by side, the Samsung looks way better. So that is something to note. Again, I'm in a weird lighting scenario if I'm trying to film this, so I have all these lights on I don't normally have. So I need to use this on my own for a little bit to make a decision about the screen. Anyhow, so I have this. So when I travel for work, I hate using that MacBook. I only use it for my work purposes, but... You know, I spend like a week in a hotel at a time when we're not under a, you know, global pandemic. And I like having something else to deal. So I carry this second monitor around with me. And I usually just plug my phone in it using Samsung Dex. And that's what I'll do uh, to surf the internet or do whatever kind of dumb shit I want to do. No, but obviously it's not a full computer. So I was looking at a Chromebook. I thought it'd be quick and easy, portable around. And that'll like, give me pretty much all I do. Because I don't really do a lot of major stuff now. I am starting to look into... Uh, offensive security, penetration testing, codings, things like that. So now it's like, well, maybe I need something beefier than a Chromebook. And so this guy came out, and I was like, well, I'll check it out. Uh, and it's so light, it could really be a great travel advice because you know, no one wants to carry two computers, but if you are going to carry a second one, it needs to be as light and as thin as possible. Even though I am uh, what the kids call strong as fuck, uh, I still don't want to carry around a shitload of stuff in my backpack because I already have my work computer. Uh, my Nintendo Switch, my Kindle, and all this stuff. And I'd have to, you know, if I'm going to carry a second device, 
I'll adjust that some capacity. I love how light this thing is. I like how the size of the screen. Pretty great. The question is, is the screen screen quality shitty or is it just a bad wallpaper? Let me change backgrounds. Seems like they have some Samsung wallpapers in here. And we lost a lot of wallpaper. Alright, so that's much better. Um yeah, so now I can add a little Maybe that just that computer didn't look great. That picture didn't look good. But the screen looks better when I change the wallpaper. Maybe those boring ass wall window wallpapers mess me up. But anyhow, this is the device. This is just the initial look at it again. It is pretty cool. It's very light. I mean. Uh, there's a little heat back here, but again, we are applying updates, we're doing the initial setup, but I can definitely feel warmth right here. I mean, it's super light, I mean, I have no problem doing this. Uh, it feels like plastic, I've heard people, Mark, this is, this is metal, it's magnesium. This is the same damn thing they did with the Google Pixel Book, and it makes it feel like plastic, but I kind of like it, because I don't really like the feeling of metal all the time, but like, I can hold it like, this is a 15 inch, and you know, I can hold it like this, and it's, it's no, it doesn't feel like anything's creaking or wobbling or anything like that, so I mean. I think it's pretty solidly built. It feels sturdy. I mean, I don't feel like I can bend. I mean, I could because I am, as previously mentioned, strong as fuck. So I could bend it, I guess, if I just wanted to beat the shit out of something, but why well, would I want to do that? But yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good, solid, balanced weight. Uh, so I mean, I like it. I don't care for this color. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's. If they had more than one color option, I wouldn't have picked this. I would take the straight up black, but or I would beat the shit out of my camera with it. All right. Anyhow, this is our uh, first look at this. Uh, I will have some more comparison videos coming up and more details. Feel free to leave me a comment if you have any questions about it, and I'll I'll see what I can do. All right. Thanks for checking me out.